Okay, so if you saw my other custom video on the uh, Urcher or Tuscan Hut that I built um, a few weeks ago, you might have seen the reference to um, being inspired by the polymer clay artist Chris Mockridge, who got in touch with me and I was reminded of what I used to do with polymer clay. So I decided, you know, I liked his Doctor Who work in particular. And then I looked around and I thought, right, the Ark in Space is one of the most interesting episodes, particularly because people have observed the similarity with um, Ridley Scott's Alien, which came out soon after and people have speculated. Um, but I'd say, even as a coincidence, it shows, like I've said on eBay, how cutting edge the show was back in the day. So this custom figure, um, on eBay, note that the Eccleston Doctor Who is not included with the listing. It's just shown there for scale. And one of the problems that I've found when I was looking at similar versions of the Wern figure was that it just didn't look intimidating. So I went through various reference shots and you know, you've got Tom Baker sitting on top of the Wern and he looks very bulky. And then there's one particular um, frame I saved and that looked like the Wern should at least tower over Tom Baker a li little bit. So the height of the worm itself to the to the top of the skull as I've built it is just under six inches, with the other other elements like the tendrils rising above the head, um, well above six inches, and it weighs around two hundred sixty grams, so it's not a flimsy creation at all. Um, so as I said, the Eccleston figure in the listing is shown for scale, so it's built for the traditional five and a half inch Doctor Who figures. Um, what else? So on eBay, as I said, it's a really important episode. And after looking at the versions online that people had tried, I decided I wanted something more intimidating next to this classic scale of Doctor and also physiologically realistic when viewed as an alien species. So not to insult the way Doctor Who did creatures in the past and people have remarked and... Uh, there's been some comedy about it, but, you know, a lot of them were men in suits. And now I think of it, I've built something that doesn't look like a man in a suit. So on the build itself, I did want articulation and I built my own metallic um, ball joint for that, uh, which I was going to put the polymer head over. But in the end, I, was, I wasn't worried about the head coming off, but I was worried about the actual joint, metallic joint, eventually perhaps snapping, because I'm not, I'm getting back into armature and things like that. Um, so the head was going to rotate, but in the end, the polymer binding uh, from the head to the torso is very strong now. Um, so it's, it swings and roundabouts in terms of losing the, the articulation, but it's now very strong. And similarly with the limbs, um, what I did at first, I, on the entire sort of armature and sort of aluminium foil body that I made, I created a space for each um, pair of limbs and I was practicing um, turning the limbs so that you wouldn't have jointed limbs because um, I'd, I just thought it wouldn't stand up very well, the creature, but um, it was supposed to have some articulation within the body so each pair can move but now again this is all bonded with polymer but your the plus from that is it's very strong and it's got um if you count the little flipper things at the back it's got about six points where it's um, now sitting on the ground six points of contact with the ground so it's very secure in its feet um and i've got a mat effect for the body with the torso and limbs and some texturing on the limbs because that seems apparent in the screenshots.
but I've got a gloss effect on the eyes and part of the maw to um, be a bit more intimidating. Um, I've got my background as an artist on eBay, so I won't go into that because I want to keep this a fairly short video. But, you know, I'll give some uh, props to uh, Chris Mockridge again for the inspiration and hope uh, people enjoy this custom build.